In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with proxies inside Final Cut Pro when your computer is slowing down or you get this choppy play when you try to edit. We are in the Final Cut Pro and let's see how we can work with proxies. We have this video, for example, it's on all eye in 4K, 50 frames per second from the A7S III, the Sony A7S III, a very hard file. So if uh, you don't have a very powerful computer, probably it's going to start slowing down the computer. You're going to have a choppy playback. It's not going to play smoothly and you will need to create a proxy to edit smoothly and don't have any choppiness, any delays in your computer to make it faster. What do we do? First, we are going to right click here and we're going to click in transcode media. As you can see here, we have the option to create optimized media. The optimized is high quality copies that basically it's a little bit better. They're encoded as Apple ProRes 422 and they take even more space into your hard drive. And then we have the create proxy media option. We can select to have the ProRes proxy or the H264. And if I click on the frame size, I see that I have the option to have scale same as source, 50%, 25% and 12.5% what does this mean? Usually, if you leave it to 50%, it will work. But if you see that even on 50%, it's still slowing down your computer, you can get down to 25% or 12.5% to be faster. And then you click in OK and you wait for the media to be transcoded. Now, if I select this and let's see, press I here to have a selection and uh, let's say that we want it until here and drag this to the timeline, you see that it's playing because right now it's not showing the proxies. We're gonna go here into the browser and you will see the view and then we will select proxy preferred or proxy only. What does this mean? Proxy preferred means that it will show the original files but also it will show the proxy files and this is very useful because you might have media files that they are very big or they have hard encoding and you want to get proxies in them but also you have files that you don't need to have proxies to work smoothly in your computer so if you want to combine these two different clips you can use proxy preferred and if you want to work only with proxies you will click in proxy only so proxy preferred and right now you see that it's playing smoothly if i select proxy only because it's not proxy preferred you see right here that the other clips that they are not proxy they get the notification missing proxy so if you want to have proxies only you select for example this you go again transcode media create proxy media and click ok to get transcoded as well this is the one method to work with proxies and of course the second method usually the method that more people are going to use is by importing the media. So you click on import media and as you can see, when you import, you will have the option to create proxy media on the transcode right here from the import. But for me, usually the way to do it is when I have the media files and I realize that I have some delays or some choppiness or my computer is slowing down. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button as it helps the channel a lot. And if you're interested to more content like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.